What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage, another totally tubular two minute tool time Tuesday. Today I'm filming on the GoPro Hero 7. Let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, it was just easy and my other camera was filled up because I'm doing stuff on this and it was taking like two hours to offload all the 4K media. Now, today we're gonna talk about suspension tools, stuff that you're gonna need to change out the suspension on your European car or really just any car for that matter. So these are some of the tools we have today. These are the Schwaben strut nut sockets. These are 12 point sockets right here. And you can see there is a little cutout. Now that is so that you can put it on top of the strut hold the nut that's on the inside so basically you don't strip it out if you have electronic dampers you don't want to like basically twist the wire in there and break it off because those things are super expensive uh they come in multiple sizes depending on what kind of strut you have for my bmw m4 i was using this 18 millimeter 12 point uh you guys will see some lowering stuff going on the m4 soon uh, I did not have these when I was doing the Audi and I should have had them. I want to say it was a 19 millimeter for the Audi, but I got a 22 and a 24 millimeter here. Now, another totally tubular two minute tool time tool that's super cool is the spindle housing spreader tool. This guy goes in the back of the spindle uh, on the knuckle, basically. You kind of see how this is tapered. You put it on the end of a socket. You stab it in there in between and you go like this. Some people use a pry bar. That is not the correct way. Uh, pry bars are not the way to go. That's what you're gonna wanna use right here. This is a great socket to have. I'll have links to all these down below. This is another tool that I love to use. We can call these the death sticks, the lollipops of death. Uh, these compress the springs. Now these ones have a little safety feature, which is nice. It means it's not gonna shoot off into your face while using it. Uh, basically you just you know, crank down on this end. It's going to compress the coil spring and allow you to remove it. Now let me show you another cool tool that I got. This is another Schwaben tool that I actually got from ECS Tunings. Again, I'll have links to all this stuff below. This one is basically, you can pick up from your local auto parts store. Uh, but you know, these are pretty sweet too. Uh, if you don't have anything, it's definitely better than nothing. This is the Schwaben strut compressor set. Now, I thought this one was kind of neat. This one seems to be a little less deadly. Um, it basically just uses this tube right here. It's same sort of design where it's, you know, threaded all the way up and it moves this piece here up and down. All you have to do is bolt on these little objects right here, these little pieces that go into the coil spring. You would start spinning on this bolt right here and that is going to compress the spring in a safe manner so this thing is pretty cool i'm gonna have a link to this down below as well these are some great tools i would say out of all these tools that's probably the tool you've never seen before the spreader tool uh fords use them audis use them bmws use them that one comes in super handy i would highly recommend this one uh these as well these are super cheap but if you don't have them you're gonna need them and you don't wish you had them so check those out guys let me know if you've seen these tools before i think they're pretty cool i use them all the time because they come in handy when i need them it's always great to have the right tool for the job thanks a lot for watching we will talk to you soon later and wrench on guys